Welcome to the Kara Kara Show. I am the Kara Doll. Welcome to what I call story time. This is going to be a place where I'm going to take you to places you've never been. Inside my heart, inside my life, and inside life. So today, what we're going to do is, um, what I want to do is share with you what I've been up to. Uh, many years ago, I met a, a guy named David Paul uh, in Venice Beach, California at Gold's Gym. And he asked me uh, if I wanted to shoot. He wanted to shoot me. To make a long story short, we've been friends ever since. And back in the day, I, uh, I was going through a lot of tragedy because I lost my partner early on in my life and, uh, and have felt very abandoned um, by my family. So anyway, uh, he saw the tragedy I was going through and he inspired me. So he's been quite amused to me. So today what I want to do is interview him um, in front of you so you can meet him and, um, and then share a little bit about what we've been up to. So welcome to story time. Uh, this is the beginning of Kara Doll's story. Welcome, David Paul. Yay. <laughs> the ultimate cowboy. <laughs> David. All right, does anybody know David? I don't know. <laughs> does he look familiar? <laughs> Anyway, um, David, I know years ago, um, you know, you were quite amused for me, and, um, and I appreciate and thank you for that. Um, so I started writing songs and writing some poetry and, and doing the things that I could do to translate my pain. Um, and I hadn't seen David for many years after I had met him at Gold's Gym. He moved here to Vermont with his brother and, um, and has been here ever since. But he did a film with his brother called Faith Street Corner Tavern. And um, it was incredible, by the way. Uh, that was one of the best films in that film festival, for sure, by far. <laughs> anyway, but after that, I thought, oh, God, David, you got to see what I've done. I've written a bunch of songs, and I've translated my poetry. I think I might could be the next step, <laughs> right? I think you're going to save me, like, woo. Um, anyway, so I shared some of my music, and um, we've been, well, you started writing the water dance, right? Um, inspired by my story. Um, so David's written 45 or more songs and written some in-betweens. It's pretty much a musical and has been helping me work on a fine art book and, um, and a little movie about how I became the Caradol. Right. Yeah, so uh, tell us a little bit about how you come to what you come to. How have you become such an alchemist when it comes to art? <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, al alchemy is just taking whatever you're going through and finding the positive things about it. Like, whatever you're going through, you turn it into a positive. It's like turning sand into gold. It's like if you're going down a road and your tires go flat, instead of going, oh man, I'm going to be late or whatever, just look at it, well, you know what, it's like, maybe I wasn't so much, too much of a rush, so... This is a good thing that could have saved my life. Maybe I would have went off the road and gotten an accident. So then when I saw Kara, I, I used to photograph her for Oxygen Magazine. And, and I, you know, and I saw what she was going through. And I just start writing poetry. And, you know, it, it, people think when they, if they diss you or if you're going through something bad, like, that, that, that's, the, that's the magic, like, getting that story and that and, and feeling those feelings and then expressing them. That's when you come up with the best art. Yeah, yeah. And I think a lot with the Kara doll, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but she tends to be wearing her birthday suit a lot. <laughs> and why that happens is, um, I think, really misunderstood. So uh, I felt very, like I was very shamed early on in my life, kind of like the all-American girl that got naked. <laughs> uh, I am a performer and an entertainer, so it was all in the act, if you will. <laughs> but um, in general, um, you know, because I had gotten so shamed or felt so shamed by it, um, I decided that I was going to be a leader. And that I wanted to teach people about their bodies and, and show them how to take care of them and how to really create them and, you know, feel beautiful inside of them. So um, I do celebrate um, the nudity and the body and, and health in general. You know, health presentation is everything. I mean, you could have somebody fully dressed in the picture has no class whatsoever, but then the naked body, if you go to Europe or whatever, it, it, it's, it's not, it, if, if, if it's done right and lit right and, and, it, and it has a good idea, it's not look at me, but look inside me. It's a deeper, it's a, you know, the pictures are telling a story. So that the water dance, it's like hair was the biggest musical 
you know, and, 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 and there was a lot of nudity and that nudity and that back in the day. But this music, I'm excited about this musical. There's 45 original songs, and um, you know, the, 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 a lot, my struggle. Everybody has a struggle, and everybody's is different, you know. Yeah. But this is basically a, when when I said Kara's story, I go, man, with when we just start writing, you know, and plus. I've wrote, written a lot of songs directly from from knowing you and the relationship and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. So um, so we want to share the water dance. Um, I wanted David to share one song maybe that he wrote from it, if you would be so kind. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's exciting stuff. We're going to be talking about it more, and uh, we'll share with you in the process as we go, because um, we would love for you to be a part. And David's, a, you know, you write very symbolically, so it's very metaphorically and symbolically. It's a, And it's never to down anything or anybody. It's to celebrate a story and to be inspired. Right. That's what stories do, So and that's what song does also. So what song will you be, will you be sharing today, David? Well, in this, he's going on a roller coaster ride. Shakira brings you up and down. You know, he meets her. He didn't, doesn't even know that, that she, she could be doing drugs or whatever. You know, so he he meets this girl at a party, and she's like, "You're gonna save me. You're gonna save me." But anyway, he 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 ends up singing her this song, like, you know, you have a guardian angel, you know, and, he, and maybe you know, angels they they don't they don't have wings, you know. They, he, somebody, any you know, so that's what this is about: is her meeting a guardian angel, and maybe she's his, maybe. She's his guardian angel. It depends how you look at it, I guess. They give each other whatever. Yeah, exactly. So guardian angel, I'm going to try to add a little, a little bit with him and sing it for you, for us, for everybody. <laughs> I'm a guardian angel. David Paul, um, I'm looking forward to creating amazing art. I've in created an amazing art with him already. So, um, and welcome to the water dance. We're going to be dancing through the water, <laughs> and um, have a beautiful day. And be looking forward. I think next we're going to be in interviewing the light. <laughs> and I know you may have a question about what that is, but stay tuned. Okay. Have a beautiful day. <laughs>